y'all can see that over there, we're at Circuit of the Americas, home of the Formula One racing here in the USA, at least that I know of. <laughs> but we're not here for any racing today. Does anybody see track? Over there and behind me. Have you ever heard of a roller coaster called Circuit Breaker? Um, I think a lot of people have. Do you want an up close see sneak peek of Circuit Breaker? Well, then keep on watching because this is a 360 tour of the majority of the parts here at Circuit of the America for Circuit Breaker. I have no idea what any of these parts are going to. I can only speculate. But I would say this is part of the brake run. Maybe part of the actual tilt mechanism? Could be. It's one or the other. go basically around and then we'll start going in and out of the track because we have permission we are not here we're not we weren't here unauthorized we are authorized to be here just in case <laughs> anybody's wondering Turn one, grandstands. Anybody want to speculate what this is going to be? Part of the track? Where it's going to be? Possibly, maybe this could be a portion of. Uh, the tilt mechanism. I don't know. It's definitely something. Here, there's a couple of little more parts. Let's see what they're about. And we still got a long way to go. There's a whole other fence area. Let's see. I don't know if y'all can read that. Do keep in mind, this is a full 360 video. Unfortunately, if you turn the camera around, hey, you're gonna see my face. But, <laughs> uh, yeah, just, yeah, if you keep, uh, if you see something that is, they, the camera's not pointing in the right direction, just move your cursor around or just twirl around. So one thing about 360 videos is you capture everything. Dude, look at that, that's cool. One thing about nice about a 360 camera is I don't have to worry about where the camera's pointing. So I can watch where I'm stepping. But as you see, there's a lot of trip hazards here. I'm gonna try to go as slowly as I can. But do keep in mind, you have the control to pause it and look around. There is a lot of pieces. Just look how big these tracks are. This is insane. I mean, this is my hand. Compared to how big just 
one portion of where the wheel goes over. That's crazy. Let's see, does this have any clue of what uh, 3D track? Huh, interesting. I don't know if y'all can see that. It looks really white in the camera, but anyways. Alrighty, let me get to another portion where it's safe for me to travel around. that far we still got all this to go and then there's all kinds of other stuff way over there and according to Matt Huey he said the other side has some really cool twisted tracks or something I don't know haven't been over there yet figure we start from the beginning all right, let's see I see an opening over here let me see if I can squeeze on through I thought these were like hollow. They're not. It's cool. Here's another tag. Y'all can see that. Still doesn't say what it is, what part it is. It's just piece of track is just a big swoop swoosh whatever <laughs> uh, let's see I think I can squeeze in between here this is cool this is too cool some really cool pieces of track over there. Let me see if I can squeeze on over. Yeah. Oh, there's been a few uh, lifts that were like good lifts. But some of the other rides, like the um, Fun Time, I don't know how Fun Time gets stuff out of Europe at one weight. It arrives from America. Man, that's too cool. Yeah, we, did, we had to bring out a bigger crane. It was supposed to be, I think, 25, 30,000 pounds. Yeah. And um, it came in like a 55,000. So you guys like. I mean, they were looking right at me. It is. How in the world do you get that through? And there's just so many pieces. <laughs> just water it on the way and it grows. <laughs> That's so cool. Get your credit card and slide it through there. <laughs> oh, yeah, I'm sure it'll keep working really well after that. I'm like up and close and personal to a really, really cool, unique ride. And I really like the color. The trains, oh my gosh, they look amazing. 
Cool, we're only 10 minutes into this. Yeah, we're, no, we're, we're the closest we're going to go. Oh, I think so. By the location, final, like the total land? Well, this run is that area, but it's still going to be in the Alright, so we got a bunch of supports over here. version of an erector set. That's just the only way I can think of it. I mean, we've heard that palindrone is actually broken ground and we were able to tour around all their parts and it's just, it'll be really cool to see that come to life once it's fully built. to still go. There's a lot of pieces to this coaster. Constructors going out just watching the constructors watching that stuff get lifted and put together oh, and see yeah. it come to life because it's just, it, I mean, that's to me the most fascinating part. Right? So, uh, I think it's the top one for them. Uh, I'll tell you the comments, I'm, I'm really impressed with what they, what they did. This is, they've done a good job. I'm very happy. I have heard not one bad thing about the Coma in the last Bit finish, years, everything. So. Big bear, all this stuff. Oh, so yeah. cool. It's like interacting with them and I am. That's a huge one. Bolts is it's bigger than my finger. I need two fingers, three to cover it. over here. We're seeing some really cool twisted element tracks over here. 
here. Especially since I'm continuously doing this. 360 you can't really cut. So it has to be one full take. Just FYI if anybody's wondering <laughs> why we don't do any fancy transitions or anything in a 360. 360's a little bit more finicky. So as much as I would love to include music and everything, it's yeah. Not if you want to take control of this video. <laughs> T2. Does that stand for Terminator 2? So is this like the Terminator element or something? Yeah. T53. Uh, I don't know. I'm just playing around. Don't come at me in the comments. I can already hear people say, Go the other way! Is that a G or is that a 6 or I don't know. Well, that was a very close up of my face if you're looking at it. My apologies. But it's like, okay, what? Okay, this has got to be the chain lift right here. This looks to be the chain lift. What do you think? Let us know in the comments. step to the auto trip hazards. Oh yeah. Definitely. Now look how massive that is. I can only imagine how big the chain is. Okay. It's got substantial anti-rollbacks on it, so which is good. <laughs> this is a cool piece here, but I think it's all pretty cool, so. sun is blinding you so <laughs> but this is just, wow okay I see another little twisty track over here sure I have an out. Hey, how? I mean, how many pieces of chain lift do you need? Whoa, that's a cool twisty track. And again, 
just to remind y'all, if y'all want to see something, pause the video and look around. That's really cool. Alright, I'm gonna go back because I don't want to. We're gonna see the other side now. That was described to me as. Yeah. You could hear that at the front gate, and I was like, oh. Oh, I imagine. <laughs> the chain is massive. <laughs> Okay, maybe that is, is could that be the tilt mechanism? I don't know. What could this be with the drive tires? Is this part of the station? That's what I was thinking too. Because you've got your diamond plate and you've got your contacts. That should kick right into, I mean, the lift is right there. to that 30 minute mark. I will have to cut the video. And unfortunately, Insta360 only records the 30 minutes. Okay, this must be another portion of the station. This is what this is earth. This is something that no doubt. Well, actually, dude, I'm a little concerned. You know, we put a stoplight in, but you know, this thing sits right here. Right. And I'm just hoping when people are, the tilt is going to be in the general area. Yeah. I'm hoping they're not like, oh, because they see that thing go and it stop. And then <laughs> smash, smash. <laughs> <Yeah. the head. laughs> a little bit of the it. People out here don't drive very good, so. What? It's like, in Texas. Some more supports over here. This is this is. Uh, I mean, I thought I was speechless seeing palindrome, but seeing circuit breaker here is—it's real, people. It's real. Circuit breaker is coming. The proof is right here. I just wish you could see the trains. Trains are amazing. I know I'm getting a little ahead of everybody else, but I just want to try to keep this 360 video to a 30 minute segment, and we're already at 24 minutes. <laughs> so, <laughs> but also we'll have pictures and everything to have on our other social media channels. This is just... Wow. And again, I will say it again. <laughs> Let us know. Give us your guesses. What portions of track do you think will be what? Exactly. I got a couple more pieces over here. And I would assume they're probably a part of the station, just frames of the station or something, or the transfer track. Something. But yeah. Two areas. Two fenced in areas over there and all over here is nothing but circuit breaker. And then 
if you can see way out in the distance over there where the Ferris wheel and the Vomitron is, that's where the other portions of Kogalan is. And I actually think I possibly see some parts of Palindrome just still over there. I'm not 100% on that, but I know in that direction by the Ferris wheel is where uh, the sections of Palindrome was when we were here last year for Winterfest. And I'll go ahead and link that uh, 360 tour in the description. So you can see that tour as well. But I'm going to end the 360 video. Thanks for watching, guys. We'll uh, catch you later. Of course, you're going to have to see both of us. You're going to have to move the camera. But <laughs> anyways, thanks for joining us. See you at the park.